All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Madden NFL 15. Uh, so this week we will be facing off against the Saints, who are 2-4. and four. Their offense and defense rank, defensive rank are both 13. Let's see, injury reports for the Saints. Sebastian Vollmer in a right tackle. Roger uh, Saffold as a right guard. And Ramon Harewood as a left guard. So that can actually play out in our favor since I like to play the right side and then missing a couple key right players. So we'll go get into the game and we'll see uh, what happens here. And look at that, we actually uh, went up an overall point. So we started at an 86 and we're up to an 89 now, so that's pretty good. I asked in the last video about uh, suggestions of uh, playbooks to use. And I got for offense, I got uh, the Eagles. And then defense, I got uh, the uh, St. Louis Rams. So we'll try them out, and if I like them, if I like them, I'll stick with them. And uh, if not, maybe I'll try and mess around with some other ones, see what we can do. I, just, I gotta find the right playbooks. The offensive playbooks don't really matter to me as much, but the defense, I need a good defensive playbook. How true is that? That QB inaccuracy thing right there. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry. So Rudy, true. This is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, Eli Manning, four touchdowns and six interceptions through six games. In their career, it's Eli Manning going up against Tony Romo. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this Week Eight matchup. I mean, my stats are no better, but, I mean, come on. How do you only have four touchdowns through friggin' six games? Is that, is that Paul Amalu? Looked like his hair. I mean, I guess that doesn't mean that it's him, but it looked like his hair. I don't know Paul Amalu's number either. They still have Dusty McDonald as the Saints coach. Why haven't they put back in uh, Sean Payton? Sean Payton should be in this game. He coached last year and he's coaching this year. So I don't understand why they still have Dusty McDonald in there. That's a big flaw to me, honestly. If they're gonna, I understand if he was still suspended to not put him in, but if he's coaching, he should be in. And the only coach that has exception to that rule is Bill Belichick because he's in some uh, some group or something that makes it so he shouldn't not allowed to be in the game or something. I don't remember what it was. I looked it up a while ago and I don't remember exactly what it is. All right, so we'll go check on their team, see what they've got on their team. <laughs> Uh, Eli Manning as cornerback, uh, quarterback. Stephen Ridley and Willis McGahee as halfbacks. Stanley Havilla, Havili as a fullback. T. Y. Hilton, Greg Jennings, and Harry Douglas as wide receivers. Vernon Davis as a tight end. David Bakatari as a left tackle. Greg Van Roten as a left guard. Ted Larson as their center. Jamar uh, Meredith as their right guard. Kelvin Beckham as the left ta uh, right tackle. Lamar Houston as a left end. 
Oliver Vernon as a right end. Linval Joseph as a defensive tackle. Vaughn Miller is a left outside linebacker. That's going to be annoying. Uh, Joe Mays is a middle linebacker. Jabal Sheard is a right outside linebacker. That's going to be annoying. Captain uh, Munner Munnerlin as a cornerback. Uh, Altron Verner as a cornerback. Javari Arenas. God, why? Ugh, so many problems. Free safety is Kamal Ish Ishmael. And Bernard Pollard as a strong safety. And that's kind of bad, too, for me. Steven Hauschka as the kicker. And Matt Bo Bosher as the punter. So we're going to get back into this game. We'll see what we can do here. We'll First down here. Hopefully this Rams playbook plays out to be pretty decent. Offense lines up here. Hand off by Manning. He's brought down. Well, working good so far. <laughs> Here's a look at the Saints offense. Hoping to crank out some yardage on the ground today. So going into some real life NFL stuff. I'm sure everyone's seen. Um Michael Sam has actually been cut by the Rams. Oh, Bobby Wagner with a pick. Nice. Pick six at that. Nice. But, uh, yeah. Um, Michael Sam was cut by the Rams. I was actually watching a thing on ESPN yesterday where they were comparing two two players in that position and and um, Sam actually had better stats and they were saying that they were going to keep the other guy and I was kind of confused about that but considering Sam had the better stats but so I guess he's cut and they're trying to figure out what he's going to be doing now if he's going to go onto their practice squad or if another team's going to try and sign him or what not and then James Harrison went and retired. And they're questioning his uh, Just across the Hall of Fame ability, it, if they think that he's going to make it into the Hall of Fame or not. First down on the way. I mean, I don't think he will right away, right at the five-year mark, but I think he will at some point. I mean, he's got two Super Bowl rings, and he was a dominant uh, player on... Oh, I could have had a pick there, and I messed it up. But, uh, I mean, he was such a dominant key figure in the Steelers' defense when it was still a steel curtain. I mean, that steel curtain's more or less of a, you know, regular fabric, you know, uh, uh, curtain now, but that's okay. Uh-oh, not again, as they trail in another tight game, partner. Well, I'm going to do a little teaching right here. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just focus on the play that's coming up. Just do your job. If you do that, you'll have a chance to find a way to win. Here's the Packers defense a week ago. They got to the quarterback on five occasions. The Saints have it at the 44. Looking across the middle, Vernon Davis. Ooh, McBride, that was some awful coverage. But it's man -to -man oh, we're playing the game of the week. Sweet. Against the receiver, and that time the receiver won. Also, a nice throw by the quarterback. McGahey is in the backfield. Manning from the shotgun. Oh, you see that tip? Sherman almost had a pick on that, too. Nice job that time by the defense. That would have been awesome if Sherman would have picked that tip off. Open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Two tight ends on the field here. I almost just jumped that snap. Damn, I almost had the sack on that, too. Got away from him. 
got away from the guard there, and but Manning got rid of the ball too quick. Awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Manning standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And he's to it's the eighth sack on the season for Branch now. Well, that time the With that weak line and them missing positions and then some of their players that aren't even missing, they're just, they're going to be hurting today, I think. Matt Bosher ready to punt. With the way that my defensive line plays and the way that their O line is right now, they're gonna be they're gonna get hammered all day long. It'll be a touchback. First down, offense ready for the snap. First offensive play of the game, and it's a screen play. I'm liking it already. Set up screen to Richard. What was that? But can't connect on the short throw. That was an awful throw. I mean, Richardson didn't even try and catch that. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Gets it out. For the At least he caught that one. All the quarterbacks in the All right, look at that. Another, another screen play. How about you try and catch it this time, Richardson? I had, I had to get rid of that, or I was going to be sacked. The line, the pocket collapsed. Second down coming up. Richardson. Loss of two. That was the loss of one. The old counter play, Richardson. Should have cut him between the two players there too. Not tried to go further to the outside. They specialized in last week, converting in these situations. Third and ten. Good coverage that time. That was risky. Shouldn't have even tried that. Situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Oh, perfect. Wish it would have gone a bit further, but that's good. That gives good fielding position for us. A miserable place to start this next drive. See if Will Fork can get to Manning. First down and ten. It is Ridley. Or they're going to run it right up the middle. Well, when you have a successful draw play, a lot of times it's up to the quarterback. As he's dropping back, if he holds that football up and makes everybody think it's a pass, it works. And then when he hands it to the running back, look out. Second down at four. Screen and Ridley. No, 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 no. That's my play. You, you're not allowed to use that, Eli. Arm strength is a nice thing to have. When the That's my screen play. You can't use that. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still. Almost had that sack with Will Fork, too. That would have been nice. Ridley takes his spot in the backfield. Zebra, zebra. Third down and four. It's Douglas. Ooh, that was some burned coverage. Who was guarding him? Now, oh, he was just in the middle with uh, Matthews on the outside of him in the back. Damn, good play, good play. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that. Freaking third string wide receiver. First down following the long play. Ridley's going to secure the handoff. Wagner's all over that offense and brings him down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. The Saints have it at the 44. The catch is made. Oh, Perry, come on. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the End of the first, and I'm up by seven. It's a good start. Wasn't even from the offense. It was because of that pick six in the very beginning, but I'll take it. The NFL on EA Sports. Hey, a win's a win.
It's a two tight end formation. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Ooh, that was some ruined coverage. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Looking to go up top again on first down. Almost made the catch, but the I don't think so. Jarred it loose. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second down and ten. They'll go draw. We gotta, we gotta stop giving up these first downs. It's a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. Sit down, Eli. Ooh, Johnny Jolly got the sack on that one. Nice. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left Couldn't tell who actually hit him first. I think Will Ford hit him first. I think that should have been his sack. But, well, it's okay. We'll give Jolly the credit. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Saints take it from the 23. Ridley right. Oh, no. Saints in the end zone. Touchdown. Damn. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. That was a nice drive. Certainly giving his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. Well, listen to that. The Saints uh, fans are cheering who that. before he's taken down. They come to the line, and it's first down. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Richardson picks up eight here. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. After running it, it's second down. Richardson lined up in the backfield. Hand off by Romo. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a pretty good five yards average. Richardson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Packers back to the ground. Oh, that was nice. Right around midfield. Second and inches. Come on, that was first down. Here we have second down. <sighs> they load it up now. Bring out the jumbo for me. Been a long day. Tackle, but not until he picked up the first down. Go back to work after having a week off and having then and having to wake up at one o'clock is not necessarily the best thing to do. And what does he do? He gets past them and picks up. Luckily, I've got tomorrow off, so in a couple days this week, I don't have to go until a bit later in the day. So. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, damn! Wasn't paying attention. Damn. It is without a doubt. I was just watching a wide receiver, and I wasn't paying attention to what Romo was doing there. Just take the sack. Romo's lined up, two tight end set. He'll fire it out to the left. Ooh, dirty. Grabs it. Brought down at the 26. That was nice. Good job getting the first down by the offense. Look at the that guy came in too quick, and Macklin was just left wide open. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. They face first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Set up screen. Pulls it in. 
Not as big as a gain as I would have liked, but that's okay. The quarterback puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Richardson lined up in the backfield. Second and two. And Richardson's got it on the handle. Jim, the defense gives up the first. I want to get everyone touchdowns, but I need to get Romo's Let's see if they can hold TD to interception ratio positive. Oh, come on. You can't be dropping passes like that. It's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make a catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Oh, come on, Romo. Why didn't you throw it? That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense. They do not do a good job of... I'm going to cook on this one, I think. Let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets yep, nice. When that tight end is on that middle route, that's like an automatic, like, gain. On their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. You'll throw it over the middle. Ugh, what a bad idea. I was almost picked off. A lot of passes like that by career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on the break? Second and goal from the three. Romo, touchdown. Give Austin a touchdown, nice. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring I'm really hoping that he does good to the Browns. Ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax. He's a, he's a really solid wide receiver, so. And without them having Josh Gordon, I think he's going to be one of their go-to guys. I'd hope so. I mean, you'd think anyways. If not, I don't know what they're going to do. Football down the field. I mean, I don't have much hope for him. One of their best players was Richardson, and then they traded him away. So, I mean, I know he wasn't doing that good, but that's what happens when you tr switch around coaches constantly. The Saints ready to take over the football. Hopefully, Hoyer or Manziel or whomever uh, can turn that team around a little. And I think that team could be really good if. Gordon was in for a full season. I mean, not really good, but you know, I mean, they could probably win more games than they have been winning. Manning's lining up in the pistol. Wagner's in on the tackle. The offense stops the clock right away. That was a nice hit. Third down. Ridley lined up in the backfield. That pressure. I'm glad I switched that over to a blitz. Sometimes on the defensive side, hurrying the quarterback is just as good as sacking him because when you hurry him, he doesn't have time to think. He's probably not going to be as accurate, and they get the incomplete. I don't know why Manning has such a good release and can get rid of the ball so quick. I'd like to get a couple sacks. Goodwin's going to look for space now. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He's brought to a halt. The Packers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Second down following the run. The jumbo set on the field. Richardson. And they'll end up losing four here. The Packers call for the timeout. We'll take a break with them. We'll be right back after these messages. We'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Romo's going to keep it. Under God. Can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. On third downs, the defense knows in most situations it's going to be a pass. And let's give some credit to the defensive front. They pressure the QB and they force the incompletion. T.Y. 
Hilton from the 15. Brought down after a gain of 15. So they're probably going to try and go for a Hail Mary Trips here. Yep, there's the Hail Mary Trips block. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Manning's looking to go down the field here. Did he? Did they catch that? Oh my God! I'd like to know how they caught that. Holy! Oh well, at least there wasn't enough time for him to call a timeout or anything. Now let's take a look back at the first. I mean that puts yards against my defense, but that's all good. Check out these highlights real quick, though. The only thing that we're ahead in is score. All right, let's roll those. Oh, of course they just got like a 60-yard pass on that play. Throw the pick. Packers take it back all the way for the score. That takes the lead up to seven. Saints have it near the end of one. Douglas has got the catch here, and he'll end up at their own 45-yard line before being tackled. Saints still on the field. He'll jet out to the right on the run, and they now cap off the drive with the score. We're brand new at seven. Packers line up at the three. Austin's wide open here on the catch, and finally on play 14, they score. That puts them up by a touchdown. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for the start of the second half. We're back at the site of Super Bowl. All right, start of the second half. We're winning 14 to seven and we're getting the ball. Is about to begin. Very nice. Oh, moved the wrong person. Goodwin's gonna run this one out. Oh, oh, that spin move. Nice. Made right around the 25 yard line. The Packers get ready to start their drive. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Eyeing that left side. Austin nice, keeping them feet in bounds. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. They're setting up screen. Ooh, nice Richardson. Nice. That was dirty. The Packers offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. Gotta try and get White involved, but haven't noticed it that he's been opened at all really. Romo's gonna take off with it. Oh, I I hit the right stick to throw it away and he didn't throw it away. Has him behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, that's rough. Not they giving me a running play, really? Second and 24. The sack of the quarterback. The Packers snap it at the 36. Looks to his left. Oh, he just got burned. Oh, I don't think that was the first down. I think I was short, but I'll take it. But that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives him a chance for three more downs. Here's the first snap after the big play. Play action. Romo's got the football after the play fake. Watching the ball fly deep down the field has been something we've grown accustomed to seeing today, Phil. And it's led to a bunch of big plays and touchdowns. It's so exciting to see the football throw deep down the field and a guy catches it and runs for a touchdown. It's like going to a baseball game and seeing a home run. You're watching something special. And, Jim, we have seen that here in this game today. Right side. Jesus Christ, Richardson is a tank. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Third and short. White's got the catch and the first. God, I've got to get White involved into this game. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. The Packers take it from the 23. Finds his mark. Games 19. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. See if I can get Richardson a touchdown. 
First and goal. Hand off. He stacked up at that point. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Romo's able to fake into the line and still has it. Oh, come on. That was a touchdown. He had his foot on the line, right? Just a yard. Come on. Right here in a close game. This offense, they want to take control. If they score right here, that could give them control of this game. The long drive continues. Look at this. White's not even in the game right now. Pretty goal from the one. Throws the pass. In his hands, complete. That was risky. But I'll take it. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal. You got to decide. Yeah, Dusty McDonald, you're all sad now. Nice design. They throw the football. And the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. And this is Arenas running it out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Saints come to the line. They'll start this drive at the 24. Coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down at the 24. Davis gonna pull in the bullet pass. That was some bad coverage right there. When you pick up first downs against the defense. We've allowed way too many yards today. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Ridley takes his spot in the backfield. They're going back up top. Throwing now to his left. Like why is he open? Why are they open like that? Down after a gain of 15. It's just a good example how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. The throw for these receivers short. We can see they're able to take short passes, great tackles, and with their talent, nice stop, Jolly. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Eli Manning will take it from the center here. It's Ridley. That's Wagner making the stop. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. That'll do it for the third quarter here just off Poydras Street in New Orleans. And we'll be back in just a moment. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. McGahee set now. Split out wide to the left. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Makes the reception. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. All right, look at that. We've got a bye week next week. That's good. Means we'll get a good bunch of uh, game prep hours. It's Manning out of the. Do more than just a couple things. The Saints will take the snap from the 40. Manning's got it after the play fake. Well, will be nice. We stopped it. Ball's going the other way. And Davis is a big target, but he plays that tight end position like he's. Surprised they didn't kick a field goal or to be everything was focused around I just punt it was the number one guy in the passing offense but now we see many tight ends who are the number one option just like we're seeing here today well a short gain on the run that time by the offense when you're running football team listen there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work you just got to keep running them second down and eight will go ground picks up maybe three you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run. White in. Yeah, well, okay, he's on that outside route. Defense comes out of the nickel. Third and five. Throws to the right. There we go. Ooh. The reception. Looking at this comparison, Phil, it's fun to see these two quarterbacks going head to head in a tightly contested game. Yeah, so well played on the offensive side by both teams. The quarterbacks, they've been very sharp. They're on target with the football, and their offensive lines are playing very well. Jeremy Mack 
Macklin makes the Ooh, nice Macklin. Big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, and doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. And Manningham's lined up in the slot. The Packers take it from the 28. That'll stop the play right there. Dixon's able to show everybody why he should get the football score. Good job that time finding his way and picking up the first. Uh, no, Dixon should not get the football more. The Packers will take the snap from the 20. Yeah, no. Over him, behind the line of scrimmage and a loss of one. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Packers snap it up at the 26. He's wide open for the grab. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. This next play will be run from inside the 20, and a week ago, they were sensational inside the red zone. Now first and 10, and Richardson's taking the handoff. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Quarters formation here for the defense. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Gets away from the pressure. The defense gets the sack. Two minutes. And got a couple yards with him. No criticism here. Ninth play of the drive. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. So they failed to convert on third down, but that's been one of the low failures on third today. Chip shot here. Well, like I stated, we'll take the field goals when we need to. Just to keep my kickers overall decent. They always want to get something out of it. I would have liked to get another touchdown with Robo, but that's okay. He gives them three. Packers now ready to kick the football down the field. Arenas drops to a knee, and this will come out to the 20. The Saints come out for the next possession. It's an empty backfield for Manning this time. From the gun. Mike Ooh, Sherman, nice. He jarred that loose. The ball falls incomplete. Hilton really hit hard that time. Not Beautiful. The hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. The defense gets a sack. Third down. Nice. The sack. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use it. You're going to spike it or you're going to, as you know, huddling it. Manning's got it in the gun. Two sacks in a row for big old Vince Wilfork. Nice. Listen to those boos. Too bad it wasn't like the baseball game so the crowds crowds would start to uh, empty out. Goodwin's got a chance this time. And that's a game. And if the team's losing really bad, the crowds just start to empty. The Packers getting set now for their next series. Double tight end formation. Richardson. Richardson taken down. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Oh, I could have had that guy on the left. He was wide open. Well, your team I couldn't get the throw off in time, though. Like this, anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it. And what a job it is. If you look at these passing totals, it's easy to get a sense why they're leading right now. Those numbers are absolutely outstanding. When you see these kind of numbers, that means the play calls were good. The offensive line had an outstanding day. And also the wide receivers, they found ways to get open. 
Second down. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. To the right side. Breaks away. Oh, I didn't want to go out of bounds. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Now, they, why are they getting good pressure on in the end of the game? We'll take this 51-yard field goal, hopefully. Good, at least he made it. Unlike that one time he kicked a field goal that length and he missed. Jeez, that was awful. It's my fault, I think, though, because I didn't move the stick down. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. And as he takes a knee, Manning will now bring his offense onto the field. The Saints offense now marches on. They should just put their backups in at this point. Why risk having Manning get injured? Already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First down at the 20. He makes the catch. Ooh. Nice little spin move. The tackle. Following that completion, second and short. Time continues to tick away as they'll rush back. To Spiking the ball, really? You're down by 20 with 18 seconds, Manning. What is Dusty McDonald thinking of these plays over here? Manning from the shotgun. Davis got it. <laughs> Oh, Will Fork just lit him up. Right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. Davis out wide on the left. First and ten. You know, the thing, they had like 300 yards on me, and they still only have seven points. Second down and four. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Hey, she got that. Snap off quick. Well, the lights were bright, and the team was up for the occasion here, winning in prime time. Nothing like it, man. Winning in prime time when you know it's all about you. That looks just like Eli, actually. Look, it's pretty good. Players, they love being on the big stage. Well, they were today. They got it done. All right, stats. Let's see what we got. Romo, 19 for 26, 241 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, Eli Manning, 16 for 23, 225 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Richardson, 15 for 67, no touchdowns. Steven Ridley, 7 for 46, and had the one lone touchdown for the Saints. Vernon Davis, 7 for 82, no touchdowns. Stephen Ridley, 4 for 18. Miles Austin, 4 for 44, one touchdown. Jared Cook, 4 for 44. Jeremy Macklin, 4 for 52, one touchdown. Trent Richardson, 4 for 50. Harry Douglas, 3 for 95. Roddy White, 2 for 32. Greg Jennings, 2 for 30. Vance McDonald, 1 for 19. Uh, Bernard Pollard, 5 for 5. Uh, Vaughn Miller, uh, 4 tackles, 1 sack. Ray uh, Malagula, 4 tackles, 1 sack. Vince Wilfork, 2 tackles, 2 sacks. Oliver Vernon, 2 tackles, 1 sack. Johnny Jolly, 2 tackles, 1 sack. Alan Branch, his one and only tackle was a sack. Jabal Sheard, one and only tackle was a sack. It's pretty good. And Greg Zerlane was two for two. So we, we are on a bye week this next game, and then uh, 
After that, we are going up against the Bears, I do believe. Let's see, facing bad O-line, beat average team on the road. Yeah, wow, nice. So we really, we got about, we got 21 more extra hours for the bye week, so that's not too bad. Let's check out my division real quick. Uh, Vikings are right behind us actually at five and three. Lions have a, are three, four and one, and Bears are three and five, and that's who I face next. And Will Fork is third in the NFL with sacks, only behind Cameron Wake was 15. Yeah, that's going to take a bit. So we'll go through, we'll do these game prep hours. See, I don't do the defensive ones because you actually have to go through and play those. I believe. So we'll go through the game plan. Install game plan. So we'll just do that, and we'll uh, give it to these guys here. As in, Clay Matthews' confidence is actually down kind of low. Maybe wonder if that's why he's not doing so good. That's pretty good. Plus nine, plus six, plus ten, plus seven, and plus thirteen. That's really good for Sherman. So we have six hours left. We'll let them deal with that. We'll delegate that. We will advance to the next week. And as you can see, we're going up against the Bears, who are now 3-5. and five. And the Vikings have actually tied with me. They just have one more loss than us. So me and the Vikings are actually neck and neck right now. So I will see you guys in the next video. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See ya.